Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Archie. What are we doing today, Arch? We're reviewing the Hornby Class 50 in GBRF livery named Hercules. This model came out in the 2020 fleet in December and we bought it brand new from Widness Model Centre. Absolutely amazing shop. They even ran it for us beforehand to make sure it worked fine. So yeah. Alright, so we're now looking at the Loco and it has absolutely amazing detail. One thing I am going to say is the doors were placed a little odd because they obviously open but the door hinges are inwards and the so it looks like it opens one way but it actually opens the other way. Oh, yeah. It's a bit odd. <laughs> but apart from that it's absolutely amazing detail. All the underside detail, all the pipe work, the livery application is just spot on. And what were you saying about the serial number? Oh yeah, so this train hmm. serial number is 50007. Yeah. James Bond. Um, <laughs> but on the other side, it says 50014. Now, 50014 is its sponsored identity, whereas it's actually 50007. Okay, that's a bit confusing. <laughs> so, these were retired from service in the 90s from GWR. Yeah. And they were never really used since, until 2019 when GBRF and the Class 50 Society decided that they'd do a rail tour with two of them. Yeah. So they got 50007 and 50049 to do a rail tour with them in GBRF livery. Okay. So they've been touring the UK recently going around pulling a load of Mark 1 coaches and it looks really cool. <laughs> and since the tours ended they've sort of become like the Europhoenix trains where they're for hire. Okay. So you see them pulling class 800s and that kind of thing. Oh right. So yeah. And it, yeah it's just really cool loco. And just really suits the modern era that we're going for. It is lovely yeah. And mm. those details like you say. Surpassing Backman's usual standard. Sorry, yeah. not Backman, is it? It's Hornby. Hornby yeah. It? yeah. So Hornby actually doing something that I mistook for Backman. <laughs> That's a good thing for Hornby, isn't yeah. it? Should we see it right? Yeah, sure. And another thing that I like about this is that with most DC low clothes, mm. when you have it in just this phase where it's not moving but the lights are on, yeah. they're generally quite dim and the more power you give him it starts moving, the brighter the lights get. Right. But that's not the case with these. Oh, it's pretty bright straight away. Yeah, and it doesn't right. get any brighter, it's always this level. Oh, that is quite nice. Yeah, I see what you mean. And I'm not sure we can see that on the camera mm. properly, but yeah. And also this is a really smooth runner. It is. Like, you'd, you'd think this was DCC fitted with how smooth it is. And it actually has a good bit of speed to it as well. Whoa. Not overly fast, but it does have realistic speed. Yeah. What are you pulling there, Ash? So, it's, so at the back we have four LMS porthole coaches, yeah. which we got at a bargain price of £99 for the four of them from Wales of Sheffield. Right. And at the front we have an LMS Mark I buffet coach, because why not? <laughs> well, you've got to have lunch, haven't you? Yeah, exactly. Especially on a nice rail tour. And they're back then, are they? Yeah. Coaches? yeah.
So what do we think all in all? Um, I think it's very much so an absolutely stunning locomotive and very much so worth its money for what you get. It's just brilliant detail, really smooth running like you'd think it's DCC fitted. Yeah. And for £160, or at least that's how much we got it for, it's well worth its money. And that was Widness Model Centre, wasn't it? Yeah, generally they're actually £180, but Widness Model Rail Centre, £160. Bargain. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, bye now. Bye. <laughs>